years ago when I went on a Buddhist meditation retreat and I read the introduction of this maybe like a year ago on the channel but tonight I'm going to read the first chapter and this book that focuses on the body. This 
This is a good preparation for meditation, as it helps to ground us in our present experience. Our mind tends to flit around, diving into the future, searching back into the past, or spinning off into fantasies. But our physical sensations are always happening right there and now. Also, all our feelings take place within the body. If we are joyful, angry, anxious, or full of love, all these emotions register in our posture, our breathing, in patterns of muscular tension, and relaxation, and other physical effects. So, becoming more aware of our body gives us all kinds of clues to what we are feeling, and indirect ways of working with our emotions. Exercise 1. Exploring Physical Sensations Sit down in a comfortable posture with your back straight so that you feel relaxed but alert. If you have serious difficulty in sitting for any length of time, you can do the exercise lying down, but sitting is preferable as you are likely to be more awake. Most people will find it easier to do this exercise with their eyes closed. These instructions apply to all the exercises in this book. Now, not taking for granted that you know what it is, what it is like, but with a sense of curiosity, begin to explore your experience of your body. different parts of your body at 
Experience a 
as it is, taking a friendly interest in it. What sensations can you discover? And when you feel the time is right, and the exercise as you did the previous one. This attitude of being able to notice pleasant and unpleasant feelings without reacting to them is a very useful one Life throws an ever-changing mixture of pleasure and pain at us. It is good to learn not to be led around by the nose, by these feelings, but to be able to develop a spacious attitude in which we experience them, but we don't allow them to take away our freedom. In the next exercise, we move from noticing pleasant and unpleasant feelings to exploring our emotions and moods. Exercise 3. Acknowledging moods and emotions. It 
it's obvious what it's like. The feeling is right in my face at the moment. But there is always more to discover. A deeper experience is waiting for you if you keep alert and curious about what is going on. It's important to understand that we are not interested here in the story that comes with the feeling or the judging thoughts that tend to come with it. Someone might have treated you badly at work, which sets off the upset or annoyance. But during the exercise, you don't focus on the work saga, replaying it in your mind and imagining what you could have said or rehearsing what you'll do next time. You stay very clearly in the present moment, allowing yourself to experience the pure feeling just as it is. You can think about how to solve your work difficulty at another time. Although your feelings might sometimes be very strong when you do this exercise, at other times you might find you can't identify your feelings very clearly at all. It may be that you have not previously paid much attention to your feelings in this way. So the exercise is asking you to do something to which you aren't accustomed. Or perhaps at this particular moment nothing very obvious is happening in your emotional world. When this happens, don't give up. You're always having some kind of emotional experience, but it may be quite subtle or diffuse. Take a patient interest in whatever is there. On some days, moving into the world of the emotions is like being a wildlife photographer. There is definitely life out there, but you need to be very still and watchful to begin to see it. If you can't identify any feelings, look for clues in your body. is 
herself in the position of the wildlife photographer who might be taking pictures of a fearful gazelle or an enraged lioness. The aim is to capture the moment as clearly and vividly as possible. Similarly, don't be concerned if you find that your emotion in relation to this person is fear, anger, or anything else. Just get to know this feeling. If you don't like it, this book will give you tools for working with it.
something.